the salvation. Amen. We're going to read our Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in due season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly and not so, but I like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. Amen. We're going to take our year 2022 confessions, if we can have that on the screen. Okay. Are we ready? 2022 is our year of triumph and double blessings. Lord, I thank you for the privilege of this year. As I proceed through this year, Lord, grant me your divine presence, protection, strength, mercy, grace, favor, and guidance. I shall not walk in darkness, but will enjoy open heavens. I shall be a committed Christ follower, serving God faithfully and maintaining good works. I harness the light of Christ to impact my world. I shall be led by the Spirit of the Lord in all that I do this year and beyond, as God will be working in my life and settling things in divine order. I will be at the right place, arriving at the right time. Every battlefield becomes a victory platform for me and my family. I am released from captivity, rescued from affliction, and raised above reproach and shame. I go forward triumphing over all things as I am too protected to be wasted, too defended to be eliminated, and too secure to be defeated in the battles of life. I am more than a conqueror. Fountains of blessings will spring forth into my life, family, and ministry, as I receive daily grace to do more in order to have more. I engage purposeful pursuit and record progress. Things will work out well and turn out well for my good from the beginning of this year to the very end in Jesus' name. 2022 is not a year to die, and nothing good dies in my hand, and nothing good decreases Increases in my hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I triumph because God leads and I receive God's help in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want you to look at a neighbor and tell that neighbor, You shall not die. Let's go around. Let's greet each other and tell, our, tell ourselves, You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not, and nothing good decrease. And nothing good will decrease in your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, we're going to take our our announcements, which goes as follows. Every Sunday we have our Bible study, which starts at ten thirty, and uh, which starts at ten thirty, and then every first Sunday we have our communion and prayer Sunday, like we're having today, which also starts which starts at eleven a.m. Every second Sunday, we have our covenant day of breakthrough, and our response is usually, I shall prosper. Every third Sunday, we have our covenant day of healing. Every fourth or last Sunday is our thanksgiving and testimony. And, every, and any extra Sundays, we use it as a teaching Sunday. Our Friday services goes as follow. Every first Friday, we have our Fire for Fire video, which starts at 11 p.m. We had one just last Friday. How was it for those who were there? It was absolutely wonderful. If you weren't here, I would suggest that you please go back and watch it. It's on, the, it's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. So every second Friday, we have the Violent Ticketed by Force, which starts at 7.30 to 9.30. And every third Friday, we have our I Shall Not Remain the Same, which also starts 7.30 to 9.30. Next month, we are having our last precious parents for this year. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. And it's happening at 10th of December, uh, the second Saturday in December. So make sure you start inviting us soul. And I'd like to welcome each and every one of us and those who are watching and connecting online. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, who can believe it? The first Sunday of the 11th month. To whom does all the glory go to? Can we say, thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. The one that has been with us from January, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For February, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For March, say, thank you, Jesus. He saw you to April. Say, Lord, I am grateful. Thank you for keeping me and my household. In May, he didn't leave you alone. June, he didn't leave you. July, he was there for you and for me. August, he didn't leave us. September has gone. We didn't go with September. October is gone. You are still alive. By mercy, he has saved you and me. Can you say thank you, Jesus? And today is the first Sunday of November. Father, we bless your holy name. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. You that have brought us this far, we trust that you will see us through the year in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. You ask us to speak about a year of triumphs and double blessings. And we know you have been blessing us. Thank you for our vigil. Thank you for the success. Thank you for the acknowledgments. We bless your holy name in Jesus' name. We pray today, as I introduce the topic, that Lord lead us in the name of Jesus Christ. Our theme for the month is our month of supernatural help. May you get supernatural help in the name of Jesus Christ. I say, may you get supernatural help in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a help that is common to all men. There is a help that is common to all men. The ability to eat and drink is given to many. There are few that do not have it. The ability to speak and wake up is common. The sun that shineth, shineth upon all. But there's, a, one, there's one that is not very common. May you receive that this month. Amen. There's a help men have received before. There's the help, the help that we have prayed for earlier, last month. This month is time for divine supernatural help. Say supernatural help. When you say something is supernatural, it simply means that what it is happening, but it cannot be explained scientifically. When you say something is supernatural, it means that it is happening, but it cannot be explained by the law of nature. Something is happening, everybody looks at it. Something is supposed to, everything you throw up is supposed to come down. And yet, the Bible recorded an axe head that fell into the water came up when the children of God were in their need. That is supernatural. It is not common. Say, Lord, that is what you will do for me. When there are means of livelihood, they, they borrowed the axe, and as they were cutting, it dropped into the water. They don't know how to find it. I say, alas, what shall we do? When you say alas to God, he will supernaturally and divinely help you in the name of Jesus Christ. These are herbs that are not very common. They come at a very dead time. This month, November, is the 11th hour of this year. May the Lord give you an 11th hour miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural things can only be done by a supernatural God. Supernatural things can only be done by supernatural God. What looks like it is impossible. The Bible says, for with God, all things shall be possible. May God give you supernatural help. He help that men cannot explain. But they know you are receiving it. They know I'm receiving it. And they will come and speak. They say, how come? How are you doing it? And you will be careful enough to say, I cannot do it. I didn't do it. But God has done it. Amen. That is the help the Lord wants to grant us this month. Amen. Shall strength, by strength shall no man prevail. The things that your power and your strength cannot do. God will do it for you. 
The things that your qualification cannot give you, God will give it to you. A stranger boy who, who is not schooled, who knew nothing about politics, didn't know anybody, didn't have to see anybody, solely depending on God, he slept as a prisoner one day, and the next day he woke up as a prime minister. That can only be supernatural help. He didn't have any quality. He was a stranger in the first place. He was not into politics. He has never played politics, but they gave him a position that is only next to the prime minister. Who could have done that? That is supernatural help. It will happen, but nobody can explain it. It will run against the law of nature, isn't it? But something will happen. The things you cannot calculate, the Lord will do it for you. Amen. This month, the Lord will do it for you. Amen. Only a supernatural God will do supernatural things. God is supernatural. is beyond our nature. The more you try to seek for God, the more you get confused. He has given all wisdom to all men, but his own wisdom is unsearchable. The more you try to know this God and put and pocket him into the package of your knowledge, the more you get confused. You cannot package God into your knowledge. He is beyond. He is beyond. It's just too much. He is in a class of his own, incomparable. He's the only one that can do supernaturality. He set everything in place. He helps everybody. He helps every nation, but he does not desire the help of anybody. That is why the storm of life, we want to beat a, against a man's life, and we speak to him and say, peace, be still, and the storm comes. So if the way of a man pleases the Lord, he says we make even his enemy to be at peace with him. This month, may God settle every battles around you. A man struggled all his life to fight for peace. He killed and killed and killed. But he didn't get the peace. But another one came and he sat on the throne and there was peace. The enemies that were fighting his father were still there. They didn't go anywhere. The nations around them that were fighting his nation, they were there. But his way pleased the Lord. And he made all his enemies to be at peace with him. And they were bringing to him. They brought so much to him, he became one of the richest in the old world till today. The beauty of the blessings of God that comes supernaturally. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. We are speaking about supernatural help. You are putting before God what you know. In your own mind, you are fat in your knowledge, in your experience. You know that this is, you cannot do it. But you believe. The first thing you must have is your belief and your faith. Unshakable faith. Your faith that is unshakable. Firmly depending on God. That Lord, you can do it. It runs against it runs against the way things are done, but it will happen if you believe and your faith clings to him. James speaking, say, let no man without your faith, let no man who has no faith believe that he can obtain anything from God. Without faith, you cannot obtain anything. The currency in the spirit to get what you want because the spirit controls the physical is your faith. So the currency, the faith is the currency we spend in the spiritual world to get what we want. And now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that is not seen. So whatever is not seen that you want, you can get it if you have faith and believe on the supernatural God. That is the type of help I'm praying for somebody today. That this month, you and your household, you will get supernatural help. Against all the calculation of men. Against the ways of men. Against the desire and the will of men. 
God will come true for you in the name of Jesus Christ. This month is our month for supernatural help. It doesn't depend on hard work. It doesn't depend on time. It depends on what? It depends on God. You may have tried for several years. You may have worked so hard. What you did not get working out depending on yourself. This month, the Lord will give it to you relaxing. Amen. But serving him. Amen. You will be relaxed. Look at the, by the story in the, uh, in the book of Matthew 20. And he said, the master came and he hired at the sixth hour. And he worked until the twelfth hour. He hired another one at the ninth hour. And he worked until the twelfth hour. He hired another at the eleventh hour. Say eleventh hour. hour. And what was he doing all this while? He was relaxing. And the master said, why are you sitting there doing nothing? He said, master, for nobody came to hire us. And they thought there's no job for me and there's no way for me. So I just sit out there despondent. I know there's no way I can earn anything today again because the time for pay is only one hour to go. But the supernatural, as I say, go, just go there. Whatever you can do in the next hour, the supernatural help of God will bring arguments among those who see your blessing. Amen. They started arguing. Master, we work for nine hours. We work for ten hours. But this one worked for only one hour. And yet it gets as much as we who have been working. It does not depend on your hard work. When favor comes and favor is unbiased. Sorry, favor is biased. When favor comes, labor takes the back seat. When favor comes, labor takes the back seat. So it doesn't depend on labor this time. It depends on favor. You will see favor this month. Yeah. That is one of the vehicle of supernatural help. Abraham, I will make of you a great nation. And your name shall be great. And whosoever bless you will be blessed. What job did Abraham do to deserve that? He didn't have a farm. He didn't have a business. He didn't have any connection. But God just found him. May God find you this month and put you. May you be on the fiery line of the blessings of the Lord this month to receive supernatural help in the name of Jesus Christ. When you say there is no way and you face your Red Sea, and men have, you know it, you have calculated. Men have, even doctors have told you it is not possible. Run to God. Run to Jesus, the author and the finisher. He is supernatural. He will do it the way it will beat the scientists. He will do it the way it will beat nature. Men do not know God, but God knows every man. Men want to try to explain God, uh, but you cannot explain God. The sun must always shine in the day. Nobody can switch it off and ask the sun not to shine. It is supernaturally ordained for the sun to come. It has been from Genesis 1. In the night, the sun goes to another place. It is daytime for them, and the moon shines and the stars. Nobody can stop it. That is supernaturally ordained. A blessing that is persistent, that is consistent, that is permanent, that cannot be altered, that cannot be changed. May you supernaturally receive it this month in the name of Jesus Christ. May we look at it. Where is the foundation of the earth? Upon what pole does the sky stand and it's not falling? Who knows where the foundation lies? The Lord was asking Job. Yet you cannot see the foundation, but everything is still standing in place. By what? By the supernatural God. 
Men can explain and tell you there will be rain and sun tomorrow. There is going to be tsunami. When they know tsunami is coming, if they have the power, let them stop the tsunami from landing. God gives knowledge so that we can understand that he is in charge of everything. But he has not given charge to us. What did I say? God gives knowledge to every man so that we can understand that he is in charge of everything. He has not given the charge of everything to us. So when science tries to explain to you that the tsunami is coming, God gives the knowledge. It is like somebody trying to tell you that uh, 12, uh, tomorrow morning there's going to be sun. Of course, you already know. That is the way God has ordained it. So there's no point anybody telling you. When there is a rising in the, in the, in, in the sea and the waves are rising and the level is going up, men can begin to predict by the knowledge God has given to them. But God has not given them the knowledge to stop nature. Because it is supernatural. What I'm trying to tell you is, nobody can explain God. But I pray, may you experience God. I pray, may you experience God. May you experience this supernatural God. May you experience this supernatural God. May your faith this month rise for you. May your knowledge and belief rise in the things of God. The more you try to search, the closer you are to the way he operates because he reveals. He reveals. May you see the revelation of God concerning your children, concerning your marriage, concerning your life, concerning the next stage. May you receive divine direction. May God divinely orchestrate things for your miracles to happen in the name of Jesus Christ. More than the 10 months that have gone ahead, may the Lord do for you this month a blessing that is greater than all he has done. That the glory of the latter, the glory that is coming, even before the end of the year, shall be greater than the former. May the Lord help you. But you need one thing. More than ever before, the presence of God. Say the presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God brings his mercy. His mercies bring his favor. That is why we need, if we must receive supernatural help, we must have this supernatural God. If we must receive supernatural, we must have this supernatural God. That before anything and everything is going to be God first. As I also Pastor Esther to come and lead us in some prayers because today is our communion and prayer Sunday. I just want us to just take this song. We are in your presence. Let it rain, your rain. Let it fall on me. We are in your presence. Let it rain, your rain. Let it fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance. See your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me oh baba calling her by father oh oh father baba oh baba let your rain 
fall upon us, Lord, the remaining days of this year, Lord Jesus. Oh, Baba, oh. oh, let's lift up our hearts unto the Lord and just appreciate God for bringing us into another glorious month. For some of us that were not here on Friday, God has ushered us into a new month. We came into this new month by praising his name. And it's a privilege to be in his presence again. Can you please lift up your hearts, lift up your hands, open your mouth, and begin to appreciate God of the living. God that is God of the living. It's not the God of the dead. You are alive today because of the gift and the breath of life. Appreciate God, the one that has formed us. He formed us to praise his name. Appreciate him. Let God hear your voice of appreciation appreciation. Say, Lord, I am grateful. Lord, I am grateful. The Bible says, let everything that has breath, let them praise the Lord. Are you ready to praise him? Appreciate him for bringing you into another glorious month, the 11th month of year 2022. Ten months have passed and you are still alive and well, standing in God's presence. Lift up your voices, lift up your hearts and begin to appreciate the Lord, stand in God for all your loved ones. Say thank you to him on behalf of every of your loved ones. You cannot afford to sleep. Oh, open your mouth and praise the name of the Lord. Let God hear your voice. Let the angel of the Lord carry your word to the heaven lips. Let God hear your voice of thanksgiving. Say, Lord, I am grateful. Thank you, Jesus. I bless you, oh Lord. My soul, my spirit, my body bless you. Oh, all that is within me, bless you. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you have been unto me. Thank you for forgiveness of all our sins. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for crowning us with your loving kindness and tender mercy. Thank you for saving us from destruction. Destruction at night. Destruction in the day. Destruction in the morning. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you for going out and coming in. Thank you for preservation and protection. Thank you for provision. All your needs, God, miraculously met your needs. Say thank you to him. Thank you for strength. Thank you for his mercies that endures forever. Thank you for blessing you every day. You are alive today, not because you know how to do it, but mercy has preserved you. Mercy preserved me. Let God hear your voice of thanksgiving. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. With a humble heart, we bow before you today. Lord, we worship. Lord, we praise. Lord, we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you for being with us, for not leaving us at the mercy of the enemy. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for your presence that is better than life. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our soul praise you. Our body praise you. Our spirit man praise you. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for who you are, for what you are doing, for what you have done, for what you will yet do. We return all the glory and honor unto you, O Lord. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. In Jesus' name we're praying. We're going to thank God for our loved ones. Every of our loved ones home and abroad, even those ones that are with us, it is God that has kept each and every one of us. We're going to lift up our voices and appreciate God on their behalf and say, Lord, we thank you for preservation and protection. You know so many things are happening in the world, but God has not allowed you to hear bad news about your loved ones. Oh, God has been a shield and a buckler unto them. God has been a strong tower and a refuge. God has seen them through so many things. Open your mouth. Somebody is under the voice of God through me. And God is saying on behalf of your children, raise an altar of thanksgiving. Lift up your voice and say on behalf of the loved ones, all that you have blessed me with, all my loved ones, I return to say thank you. On behalf of all my loved ones, I say thank you. Thank you 
for their lives. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for protection. Your friends are your loved ones. Yes, your loved ones are your friends. Those that you work together, agree together, do things together. Oh, appreciate God for their lives. We have not lost any and we will not lose anyone. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I'm grateful. It's a privilege, oh Lord, for us all to be alive again, alive and well in you. You have not allowed the ministry of destroyers, killers, oh Lord, stealers of life, to steal their lives and their destiny. Lord, we are grateful. Many a times we take this, all these things for granted. The bread and the gift of life. There is nothing we can offer to God that is enough to buy what he's doing for us. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, King of glory. We worship you. We adore your name. In Jesus' name, we have thanked him. We're going to thank God for his mercies that endure it forever. When we were having praise and worship, the choir gave us a song that really touched my heart. It says, your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. Thy loving kindness is better than life. How many of us agree with that? Amen. If it has not been the loving kindness and the goodness and the mercy of God, none of us will be sitting here today. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, I thank you. I ascribe glory and honor unto you. I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your loving kindness. I appreciate you. Your mercy indeed endures forever. Mercy has averted so many judgments, hanging against our life on our lives. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped him. We are going to thank God for bringing you into his presence. Some people love to be in God's presence, but strange powers have overpowered them. Amen. And they are struggling. They are confused. God has, I want, to, I want you to bless God for, 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 for ordering your footstep. And for, how will I put this? Your mind is set on him and not on anything. People still struggle to serve God. But for you, God has, God has helped you. Grace has seen you thus far. You are in God's presence not because somebody called you and said, come to church today or come to, no, 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 no. You made up your mind to come and serve God. Amen. You made up your mind to come and fellowship with God. Your mind is settled on him. Your hope is anchored on him. Amen. That's a great privilege. And for the salvation of your soul. You know how many people are outside there still struggling. They don't know which way to go. Some are still struggling. They don't believe there is God. Not to talk of that Jesus that came and died for them. But as for you and I, the salvation of our souls is, is, is a big Big, big thing and we're not taking it for granted could you please open your mouth and thank God for the salvation of your soul you we we, we a lot of things that we take for granted let's just appreciate God let's appreciate God for electing you among the multitude for choosing you among the multitude for making you to approach his presence appreciate God for that appreciate God for that don't think because you are in Australia no there are quite a a lot of people still in this nation they don't know the way around they don't even know who this god is but it's a privilege that you know god lift up your voices and appreciate god say lord i thank you for the salvation of my soul you are not speaking i thank you for the salvation of my soul i thank you lord for bringing me into your presence thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray amen amen the lord bless us in Jesus mighty name amen it's always good to give thanks to God because the Bible says in everything we should give him thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning our lives it does not matter what we are going through it's always good to thank him and please once again do not forget to thank God for the 
salvation of your soul is very, very important. That blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary was not in vain concerning you and I, and we appreciate God for that. Hallelujah. So we welcome everyone to today's service. You are welcome in Jesus' name. As we have heard, this month is our month of supernatural help from what? from God. If God did not help, who again will help? I speak to the life of someone. God will help you. Amen. God will help me. Amen. We shall be helped by God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be helped by God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know the situation where you have found yourself, but God is more than able. God is more than able. Let's start by Asking God, I mean, I love what pastor said. He said the presence of God. The presence of God is our greatest delight and desire. If God be for you, nothing will work against you successfully. Amen. Even when you are, the, when you are caught out to, to the grave or destruction, God will arise and show up. Amen. Bible say, even if I walk through the sh valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for God is with me. Throughout this month and the remaining days of this year, may you enjoy the presence of God. Mm. May we enjoy the presence of God in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we're going to pray. We're going to commit the month into the hands of the Lord. And we're going to ask God for supernatural help. Our, our scripture is found in Isaiah chapter 50 from verse 7 to 9. Please write it down. And Psalm 54 verse 4. It says, for the Lord God will help me. Is somebody, be, does, do you believe that? If I were you, I will repeat it. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justified me. Amen. Who will contend with me? Oh, let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. That will be somebody's portion. That will be my portion in the name of Jesus. Who is he that shall condemn me? Mark that in your Bible. Lo, they shall all wax old as a garment. The moth will shall eat them up. Is that in your Bible? Say, throughout this month and beyond, God will help me. Ah, you are not sure. Say, God will help me. Ah, Natanya, say it again. Let God hear. Say, God will help me. Ah, say, God will help me. People in the media, say, God will help me. Oh, mommies and daddies, say, God will help me. You say, when God helps you, who shall condemn you? No one can condemn you. No one can condemn me. I decree and declare you will secure the help of God. Everywhere you go throughout the remaining days of this year, the help of God will arise for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The help of God will be made available in the name of Jesus Christ. The help of God will become evident in my life and in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That will be our portion in the name of Jesus. And the next scripture, Psalm 54 verse 4. Please don't forget that. Isaiah 57 to 99. Where as you go out in the morning, declare, God will help me. I am helped by God. Let that be your greeting. Let that be your language. You wake up in the morning and you declare after your thanksgiving and declare, today I am helped by God. Help of God is available for me. I shall not see shame. I shall not be condemned in the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever I go to, I secure the help of God. Men will help me. Situations will help me. I shall succeed this day in the name of Jesus. The help of God will become evident in my life in Jesus name. Is that for somebody? Amen and amen. Psalm 54 verse 4. Psalm 54 verse 4. It says, behold, God is my helper. I don't mind, let's have it to, to five. God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. Behold, God is my helper. 
Is somebody saying that God is my helper? And if God be your helper, every situation and elements of nature will help you. Say, my God will help me. Mm. He said, the Lord is with them that uphold your soul. And in the vigil, we, 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 the Lord help us to, to open that up. And we, we pray that we too we will be helpers to people. The reward of those that God is raising up for you as helpers is that the Lord himself will uphold their soul. So you need to be praying for your helpers too. And as you help others too, God will uphold your soul. God will uphold your soul. As you seek help from God, learn to help other people. Amen. And as you do that, God himself will uphold your soul. He says, he shall reward, verse 5, he says, he shall reward evil unto my enemy. Enemies. Amen. Cut them off in thy truth. That's a reward for those that are standing to oppose you. Did you see it there? It's in the Bible. God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. So as many that choose to help you this month, God will uphold them. Mm. And as many that choose to 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 to, to, to to cause, thank you, Pastor Laura, to cause you or to make helpers, to drive helpers away from you. The Bible said they shall be cut off Amen. in thy truth. Is it not in the Bible? Thank God for the word of God. It's a balanced gospel. As you choose to help people, God will uphold your soul. As men and women rise up to help you, to help you, God will uphold their souls. Amen. And as men and women decide to bring you down, what did the Bible say? God cut them off in thy truth. And we said that the vigil, we choose to be helpers to people. We will not be part of those that will bring other people down. And whosoever has embarked or want to embark on that journey for your life and my life, God will cut them off. Amen. It's in the Bible. God will cut them off Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. So I want you to believe as you, as you open yourself unto God, Psalm 121. You say, I lift up my eyes unto the Lord, we, unto the hills. We have comment, my help. My help comment from God, the maker of heaven and heart. You choose to secure the help that you are trusting God for from him is the great source of help. If God did not help you, you remember the story of a king in the Bible, the story of those two women, and the other woman ran to the king. He said, king, this is what happened overnight. And the king said, if, if God cannot help you, who am I to help you? I mean, during this month, as we proceed, we will be touching cases of where men have secured help from God. I pray for somebody again. May you secure the help of God. May we secure the help of God. Look at the book of Exodus chapter 3 verse 8. There are situations that you find yourself that it's only the hand of God that can deliver. Only the hand of God can bring you out. You know the story in Exodus chapter 3 verse 8. Israel was in bondage in Egypt under the rule of the art taskmaster called Pharaoh. If God did not step in for the Israelites, there wouldn't have been deliverance for them. Because Pharaoh was just too strong for them. There are situations that look like Pharaoh. There are situations that is so stubborn, too strong for you to handle. But there is a God that is stronger than the strongest. He's greater than the greatest. Is higher than the highest. All power belongs unto him. The Bible says he's the creator of heaven and earth. I love those songs we sang this morning. He's the master of the universe. He's the conqueror and the king. He's the emperor on wings. He says he's the head of over principalities. Head over powers. Head over rulers. He's the master of the universe. If you are singing that song for the first time, I encourage us for some of us that are hearing it for the first time during praise and worship, request for that word and go and sit down and study it. He's the master of the universe. 
head over powers, head over rulers, head over principalities, is the master of the universe. Is the master of the universe. Pharaoh seems very, very strong, but there is a God that is stronger. And that is the God we are introducing into our lives this month, more than ever before. You will secure the supernatural help of God. Amen. If you read that story, Exodus chapter 3, verse 8, are we there? He said, and I, and I am come down to deliver them. Can somebody read for me? Read for me, brother. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. And the parasites and the Hevites and the Jebusite. He said, and I, who is I? And I am, I am, don't forget that, I am. That I am is coming into your life this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am come down. I have decided to come down to deliver the Israelites out of the hand of Egyptians. And to bring them out of that land, bringing them out and bringing them in. Into a good land. This month, this month. God will deliver you Amen. out of the hand of stubborn situations, stubborn problems. God will bring you out of it. And God will bring you into the good land, into his promise for your life. He says, and to bring them up, bring them up out of the land onto a good land and a large and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey. God is bringing them out and is bringing them in. That can only be God. Some people, they want to help you, but they don't have what it takes to bring you out. Some, if they have what it takes to bring you out, they don't have what it takes to bring you in into the fulfillment of God's promise for your life. But there is a God, master of the universe, Head of principalities, powers, and rulers. Stronger than the strongest. Higher than the highest. Greater than the greatest. He's called the all-powerful God. There are many mighty men, but there is only one almighty. He brings you out of the problem, and he brings you in into the fulfillment of his prophecy for your life. Ah, is somebody ready to receive that this month? That will be my portion. That will be your portion. That is the help of the supernatural God. Say the help of the supernatural God. That is what you will secure this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I said that is what you will secure this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody is not saying ever. That is what you will secure this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What about the story of Lazarus? We are going to pray very soon now. What about the story of Lazarus? Amen. The book of Lazarus chapter 11. Uh, yes, in the book of John 11. John 11. Amen. John 11. 41, 42. Thank you, sir. Book of John. Are you there? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The book of Lazarus is the book of John. No, Lazarus did not write any book. Praise God. Amen. Are we together? Are we together? Okay. The book of John. Then they took away the stone from the place. Then they took away the stone from the place. Yes, sir. Where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes. And said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of these people that stand by, yes, 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 sir. That thou hast sent me. Amen. Go home throughout this month. These are the scriptures you need to, you need to strengthen your faith. Amen. These are the word of God that you should anchor your faith on. 
Amen. We, all, we are all familiar with the story of Lazarus. The book of John 11 talks about the story of Lazarus. Lazarus has been dead, had been dead for four days. Jesus waited for four days before he went to see Lazarus. And by the time he got there, Lazarus was dead. In that situation, it may look as if God is not coming. He is coming. Mm, he is coming. He is never late. He comes right on time. He comes to roll away stones. He comes to take away shame. This month, God will roll away every stone of embargo. Whatever has not allowed your Lazarus to rise up, God is taking it away. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so he came after four days. And when he came, people were, they have lost hope. Sister, Martha and Mary, they have forgotten. They were crying. But God, what Jesus said, I need you to go because I want us to pray. I need you to go and study that John 11. Amen. Jesus did what he alone can do. Amen. He brought dead Lazarus back to life. A stinking situation. A dead situation. If Jesus failed to step in after four days, Lazarus will have forever remain in the grave. And that will be the end of the story. After four days, he came. He showed up and he brought Lazarus back to life. The first commandment was roll away the stone. Whatever is standing as an obstacle between you and God's intervention, this month, may God roll it away. May you cooperate with God. He said, roll away the stone. Roll away whatever is blocking, does not, does not want to allow Jesus to get to the tomb. Whatever is preventing God to intervene or to step in into your case, this month God will roll it away. God will roll it away. God will roll it away in the name of Jesus Christ. And we know there are so many things that can stop you from, 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 from uh, uh, encountering God. So many things, as I was studying two days ago, a lot of things. Unforgiveness can become a stone that will not allow you to encounter the supernatural help of God. But this month, the mercy of God will find you. Grace to forgive and forget you will receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Disobedience to God and to authority can be the stone. That is preventing God from coming to step in into your case. I pray for you as I pray for myself. The grace to obey God fully. May it rest on us in Jesus' name. What about procrastination? It can be a blocking stone. It can be the obstacle. May God roll it away from our lives. In the name of Jesus. What about bitterness? Strive. Hatred. When they ask you, don't hate anyone, you continue. You are stopping yourself. May God roll away those stones in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is stopping God from reaching out to us, this month God will roll it away. So as you are praying for supernatural help from God, take time to ask God for forgiveness. And take time to work on yourself. Take time, just forgive and forget. And when I say forgive and forget, I'm not saying you should go back. If somebody has offended you that he has hurt your spirit, just forgive them and forget. I'm not saying you should not go back to that relationship to the extent that it will hurt you. Just let it be just normal relationship. Amen. God will grant us the grace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know what is standing as a stone in your life. I don't know what is standing as a stinking situation. And we all go through various things in life. Sickness, oppression, oppression. Some people, they major in oppressing other people. May God deliver you from every oppression. May God deliver you from sickness. May God deliver you from poverty. May God deliver you from every affliction. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, for God's name to be glorified in my life, 
this month and in your life, God will roll away every stone in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be the stone that is standing between you and Jesus and God's intervention and your destiny, this month God will roll it away in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this book of 2 Kings chapter 4, we were, we're going to start to pray now. And just one or two prayers. All what you are praying, what you are going to pray about is, Lord, step into my matter this month. That's supernatural help. Just one line prayer today. God, you are the ultimate helper. Step into my life. Step into my life. Step into my life. Look at 2 Kings chapter 4. So that you will hold down these scriptures as you pray to God this month. Not many prayers today, but just one single prayer. God, I have read. I have seen it. You have stepped into people's life both in the scripture and even, even right now on the planet earth. Lord, step into my life. Mm. Second Kings chapter 4, the story about the poor widow. The poor widow that holds so much to creditors. And the creditors came to take her two sons. If God did not intervene, there could be no hope anywhere. What about the book of Acts chapter 12? Simon Peter was locked up in the prison. Soon to be beheaded by Herod, like he did to James. But God intervened. In your situation, God will intervene. I say God will intervene. God will intervene. God will step in, in the name of Jesus. I don't know the situation where you are trusting God to take over. I don't know whether your own case is sickness, oppression, affliction, bondage, debt, a prison, a prison situation. Whatever looks as if it's seamless, endless struggle, this month God will intervene. As God intervened in, the, in those days, he still do the same thing. He does it every time. Your own will not be an exemption in the name of the Lord Jesus. You know, the Bible says Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. And that situation cannot take off the power, take off the power of God. He's more than able in the name of the Lord Jesus. So this month, we are encouraged to call upon the Lord with our whole heart. Report that, say report that situation to him. Report your situation to him. Whether the situation looks as if he's dead or he's about to die, just report that situation to him. He has done it before. He's more than able to do it again. Do not forget that song. He's the master of the universe. Power over principalities, over powers, and over rulers. He has power over them. That God will step in into your case. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to rise up right now and begin to appreciate God. God still loves to intervene in our situation. In that situation, God will intervene. In the situation of our children, God will intervene. In our career, in our businesses, even in our relationship with God. You really, really want to serve God more but there are some things you are struggling with today as you present that situation to God as you report that situation to God God will step in in the name of Jesus Christ I said God will step in is this sickness the Bible say heal me oh Lord and I shall be healed God is still in the business of healing his people how many people believe in that he will heal you he will heal us in the name of the Lord Jesus begin to open your mouth and begin to thank God say Lord I'm grateful you are the mighty and strong deliverer this morning you will step into my case you will help me you will deliver me you will heal me you will set me free you will bring me out of every stubborn situation wicked situation and you will bring me in into all your fulfillment for my life is somebody praying say God step into my matter oh step into my matter step into that situation I receive your supernatural help I receive your supernatural help God you are my helper you are are my ultimate helper. If you do not help me, who will help me? I secure your help this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, help me. Deliver me. Set me free. Heal me. You are the mighty and strong deliverer. You are my healer. You are my provider. Speak unto God. Report that situation. In the next few minutes, just report that situation to God. <gasps> Let God know that situation. Say, Father, I present this situation to you. 
He's threatening my existence. It looks as if he's too strong for me over the lives of my children, over my husband, over my marriage, over my health, over my career, even my relationship with you. God, step in. Step in. Step in. You have done it before. You can do it again. Just step in into that situation. Step in, oh Lord. Take over. Take control. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Did you pray that prayer? Did you pray that prayer? Then God has answered. I say God has answered. I say God has answered. God has answered. God has answered. That negative situation will not repeat itself. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, there will be rivers in your wilderness. Rivers of peace. Rivers of prosperity, rivers of comfort. In that dark situation, God is bringing you out. Light is shining on your path. It's a dawn of a new thing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, so shall it be. This month, you will encounter the supernatural help of God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we are boldly declare. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Let's clap unto God. Amen. I know some people were expecting so many prayers, but this is the direction the Holy Spirit, God has stepped in. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Tell him, I'm coming to testify. In, and you will testify. I will testify in the name of Jesus. Let's quickly bring out our offering. Don't forget those scriptures. Please, Isaiah 50, 7 to 9. Psalm 54, 4 to 5. Amen. Exodus chapter 3, verse 8. God is bringing me out of a um, terrible situation and he's bringing me out and bringing me in into the fulfillment of his promises for my life. Is that for somebody? Amen. Amen. Just a simple work assignment this month, and the Lord will honor that. Are we ready to give our offering unto God? Okay. Can we have the account details online? On, on projected, yeah? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love those songs, Master of the Universe. I love it. The loving kindness of God. Amen and amen. Are we ready? All right. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. You want to give online? You can give online. Thank you, Lord. God will accept our offering today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is saying to somebody, change your offering. You know that kind of offering that you have proposed in your heart? It will not be more than this. Every time. The year is running to an end. Though, and you want to encounter the supernatural help of God. Amen. Change your offering. Tell your neighbor, say change your offering. Change your offering. And some people, is not, they are not saying it. Don't look the other way. Say sister. Oh. Okay, I've, I've, I, I just did that now. Amen. Praise God. And the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. There will be provision for you and I. We will not borrow, but we will lend unto nations. Financial favor will be our portion. We will secure the supernatural help of God. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. How many people enjoyed the service for today? That's okay. How many people enjoyed the service? Some of us, were, we, we, some, of, some, some people have not recovered from the vigil. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Receive strength. Amen. I receive strength. Amen. This month you will secure the supernatural strength of God. Amen. You will not be weary, I will not be weary. You will not be tired, I will not be tired. We will, you will not be weak, I will not be weak. Amen. But with we go swing, we will soar in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember to be a helper to someone. Help somebody so that the Lord uphold your soul. I mean, thank God for the word of God. Even if we don't preach anything. Amen. Help, okay. Senior pastor said, and be a help to the ministry. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Help the ministry, help ministry. That God will help you. Anyway, it's the work of God. Online on grand, be a good helper. 
And as you do that, your soul will be upheld by God in the name of Jesus. Let's share, don't forget Friday meeting. In today's Bible study, we have started studying the soldier of Christ. That as a child of God. Uh, don't miss Bible studies. Don't miss, you want to secure the supernatural help of God, God must be present in your life. Amen. And that senior pastor said, the presence of God brings, tr makes the heart to tremble. Psalm 114. The heart tremble when he sees the presence of God. He turns rock into, into a, a, a water, into, you know, Psalm 114. Amen. Amen. The presence of God makes situation to tremble. Be a carrier of his presence and God will honor you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. This, month, this month, the help of God will be made available for you. Available. Say neighbor. neighbor. You are helped by God and no one will condemn you. No condemn you. Say neighbor. neighbor. Say neighbor. Thank you. Everywhere you go this month, you will secure God's help in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be so for you and I in Jesus' mighty name. Let's just share the grace. Are we ready to share the grace? Amen. Amen. I will secure God's help. For by strength shall no man prevail. But this month you will prevail over that situation as God steps in into your matter in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be so. So I'll see you on Friday. Keep praying by his grace. Together we will come here and glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 7.30 to 9.30. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. So <laughs> All right, Papa Raja, I can hear your voice. <laughs> Clap for her, him. Clap for him. Telling his wife, 730 to 9. God will grant us grace in the name of Jesus. And there will be a reward. The reward is coming in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. We will secure the help of God in Jesus' name. Amen.